So the basic essentials of life are air, water, food, shelter, and arguably clothing. Yeah, air and water, it's cool, whatever, but life may not even be possible without your everyday off-white supreme Minecraft hoodie, which I'm sure every household has. But now you're thinking, what if I don't want to buy expensive stuff like that? Do I die? You know, contrary to popular belief, no. And I'm going to show you how to dress well without dying. Hi. I am frugal ass, welcome to my TED talk. What's cherry guys, today you're gonna learn how to properly style streetwear essentials and not die. I'm gonna break it down into three things and they're gonna be tops, bottoms, and shoes. So yeah, let's get started. Tops are an essential part of your wardrobe. When you see someone, the first thing you see is their upper body. Okay, chill out guys. It's a cherry shirt, I know, but let's stay focused. But upper body is a big priority. The qualities that you wanna find in tops or any piece of clothing for that matter are fitment, color, details, and most importantly, affordability. Exodia, obliterate! It's like finding a girl it's rare to come across a brand that meets all these expectations, but with mass Tinder swipe online shopping, I've come across this one girl who meets all the marks. Her name is Essentials. She's one of the best clothing brands for basics and essentials that I've ever come across. Prioritizing in simplicity and minimalism, she really makes it easy when building the foundation of a wardrobe from t-shirts to hoodies to even track pants it's all ch 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 cherry using only high quality materials and creative minimal styling you're getting great products that will fit any sort of wardrobe but most importantly it's affordable oh yes call me cheap what <gasps> what what oh my god, oh my god. Cause you're damn right it's affordable. Very affordable, making it easy to get quality clothes that can fit basically any wardrobe. The t-shirt and hoodie are arguably the most essential pieces for tops and essentials makes you feel good about not having a big brand on it. Trust me, as much as I like wearing Bape and Supreme, Wow, not a single picture. Okay, hoodies are a big part of tops, and the Essentials hoodie is super sleek and again, minimal, making it easy to style with the rest of your wardrobe. And with Essential tops, you want versatility because rather than styling around them, you wanna be able to implement them to as many outfits as you can. Overall, for Essential tops, you wanna keep it versatile, but you still wanna keep it interesting, and for that, the devil is in the details. Just small things like this right here can go a long way when styling Essentials, so keep that in mind when looking for pieces. Next up, we got bottoms. So for this one, it's pretty simple, but it's easy to get overlooked. Fit is king. Cherry fit. Cherry fit. Whether it be tapered and fitted to wide and oversized, you want to make sure the cut looks good on you. Too much of anything is a bad thing, and you got to realize when it's either too big or too small. But at the same time, my definition of tapered might be different from yours, so find what you like. I like to leave this part of my fit pretty neutral to leave room for my tops and shoes to be whatever I want it to be. This just gives you more room to mix and match with different colors and tones. I think of it like Subway. You know, the bread is your pants. What's the best bread from Subway? Italian herbs and cheese. So it goes with every sandwich. Good essential pants make any outfit great. Whoever gets the honey oat bread is actually just a serial killer. Lastly, we got shoes. And essential shoes get heavily overlooked because everyone's always trying to stunt all the time my go-to are just all white sneakers i mean like they they were white before you know i wore them every day for a year but for shoes it's always a good thing to have a pair that you can fall back on so that you can experiment with other parts of your outfit example being if you want to get into tech wear starting off you're probably not gonna have the sickest akron impressos as you know they're super expensive but if you do have a pair of all white air force ones you can experiment with the look no problem because they go with everything an essential to any wardrobe. Try to go for a monochromatic shoe to have a good foundation for the rest of your outfit. For shape, you can basically go however you want, but the plain colors are essential. Real quick, before I throw the wrap, make sure you check out the Essentials launch on the 24th, hosted by my fellow YouTube friend, Jose Zuniga. Zoo. You know what? All right, guys, let's just...
let's focus here personally my favorite part is the hoodies but be sure to see it for yourselves these things do sell out like within the first couple days so you got to be really fast so make sure you click the link below on the 24th and grab your stuff with my code frugal at checkout if you spend 30 dollars or more you get free no show socks with the order so make sure you rob them of their money all right so to wrap this up if you get honey oat bread from subway you can you're you're blocked hey so thanks for watching video guys and hopefully now you're able to properly style essentials follow my instagram at christian vy and tweet at me at christian vy yt email me at frugal aesthetic at gmail.com for anything and yeah guys stay cherry respect women but most importantly